What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be making the brand new Angling AI core shop mold that I just got. It's not new to Angling AI, it's probably been out for a year or two. But I finally just received it, so that is what we're going to be doing today. That's the main focus of the video, so I'm going to set that up and I'm going to throw you guys on the tripod and we'll get started. Alright, real quick before we get started like always. Want to spray down your glasses, make sure you don't get any residue, kind of like, like that. We want to make sure all that is out of the cup that way, in case you're making them for a customer, you know, that way they don't have any extra flakes that's not supposed to be in there. A little bit more professional, unless you're doing this for yourself, then, I mean, if it doesn't bother you, then it doesn't bother you, but, you know. Just a nice peace of mind, so I do this every time before I pour any plastic just so I know that there's nothing inside. So you can see that. Crystal clear. Other than that, I'm going to put some plastic in here, finish cleaning these up, and we'll be right back. Alright, so we are back. We just heated up and vacuumed our plastic so um, now we are getting ready to add the colors which last time I messed up doing this so when I do the salt I'll only be putting it in this one because this is going to be the core this is going to be the shell that's why there's slightly more plastic in this one than that one so we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna go for a watermelon color, so like a slight watermelon shell with a bright red core. Um, I'm gonna go for a, a nice clean look on these, for the first one at least. If I have enough plastic, I will um, add some flake, but as of right now, it's gonna be a, a flakeless, shell with a flakeless core so you want your shell to be see-through so what i'm going to start with is maybe uh, two drops i'll just start with two that might just be enough kind of like a mountain dew color It is slightly setting up, but I'm going to try for one more drop. I'll try this left handed so you can. No, I can't do that. putting another drop in because this is pretty see-through so I might try that right now Just one more which you can always add so you can always you can always shoot this once and if you feel like you need to add more it's a lot easier to add another drop or two than have to throw out the plastic or mix brand new plastic or whatever. So, but hmm. let me throw that guy in. I guess I'll need to throw this one in as well. All right. So I just pulled this out of the microwave, starting to set up a little bit. I think I'm just going to stick with four drops four four drops for now 
Um, and I'm going to try to shoot this at a lower temperature, that 332, how I usually shoot duels. Because last video I made, they had some dents. So what I'm gonna do now, just gonna give it a little mix. And I have already put worm oil on the rods. So. So this time I'm gonna hold a little bit longer pressure than I did the first time or the last time just to see if maybe it's me that got the dents so I'll just top it off it actually looks like perfect shade of green so let's hope that that turns out while that's drying we'll move this to the side start on the core part so should we grab the core Correct knife. So I'm gonna go for this. Focus. Yeah. So I'm gonna go for the scarlet red. Lure works. 105. And this will be the core. We don't need to worry about it being transparent. This one should be non-see-through. I mean, you can make it see-through if you want, but for me, I think I'll just go heavy on the red. This is only a little bit more than a half cup. It's actually six ounces. So... some red pearl just a tiny tiny bit because this isn't the kind of it's more like a pinkish red I want like a, a red red so I'm just gonna throw some pearl in here and then I'll come back to you guys when we're ready to shoot the core So, I got the red in the microwave, and I'm just going to open this up so we can see what it looks like. Pull the pins out and get it set up, so when we pull the red out, we can just shoot it. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. That is perfect. kind of see it in the sprue that looks that looks a lot better than the very first round that I shot on camera for you guys so let me pull these rods out put them back in and show you guys what they look like I think that's going to be the perfect transparency for that red core just make sure make sure that all these focus okay. if you guys haven't noticed if you guys watch my other videos notice the bad camera I finally just got a brand new one so that one's good I'll just make sure see like guys can see that right 
there. If you guys don't pop that off, you won't have that hole for the air to escape. So the core can go from through here all the way through here. So I'm gonna make sure the rest are like that, put them in there, and then we'll get back. Like I said on the last video that you want to get these egg sacs right here. Let's see. That's the smooth part. You want to get the egg sac lined up in the mold. That's the biggest part. Now, it's kind of hard to pick up on camera. We just want to make sure all the holes are open. they appear to be to me. So do put this guy back on. Just pull the red out of the microwave. So and like I said before, you want to make sure that your red or that your core, I should say. It's really, really warm. I'll, I'll probably get it to 370, not 342 and a half. So I'm gonna pop this back in for a few more seconds, 15 seconds probably. Pull it out and we'll shoot. Actually, before we shoot, almost forgot. Where you can, you don't, if you use the dead on plastics black bucket, you don't really need to use salt. But I, I always like to put salt, not as much as I would in the plastics that I used before dead on plastics. Um, I would use it a lot, a lot more. So, because dead on plastics black bucket is a very, very dense plastic already. It already sinks by itself, so it doesn't really need too much help. So, set that there, throw this in the microwave. Just pull that red out. Microwave. It's only chunky because I didn't take all the plastic off the spoon, but I'm just showing you guys the color. It's a little more pink than I wanted, but I'm sure it will look just fine. I guess it looks a little more pink on camera, actually. So, let's see how warm it is. So I put it in for 25 seconds. It's only 3.49, so probably because I put the salt in there, and when you put salt in, it reduces the temperature dramatically. So let me pop that in a few more seconds. Just pull that red out of the microwave. 37, well it did say 373, but Perfect temperature, so make sure the salt's all mixed up. Throw this down. And 
we do want to hold a lot of pressure on this just because it has such a tiny little narrow hole to go through so that's why we want the plastic cotton and that's why we want to hold pressure so those are the two biggest things and I'll probably hold pressure for about 15 seconds I know it seems a little excessive but I want these to work Alright, top it off, shoot the plastic back in, and we'll be back when it's ready to open. We are back. Mold is shot, sat for a few minutes, now it's time to open it. Zoom out a tad. Actually, let me replace my camera battery for that. All right, I've got fresh battery in. Now, let's pop this guy open. Probably did about a quarter. Let's see. Probably only did about a quarter of this quarter teaspoon. This is definitely one color I've wanted to shoot in a long, long time. But I haven't had the chance since I haven't had this mold. Still a tiny little dent on this one. So, now, now that I got these made, I'm going to throw these in the water bath, and I'm probably going to throw a tiny bit of black flake, the .035 black flake, in the green, in the watermelon, just a little bit, not too much. But, that's the clean look that I was going for, so I'm glad it turned out. But I'm gonna heat the plastic back up and we'll catch you guys here in a sec. We are back, the plastic is heated up, and we got some black flake. So, what I decided to do, can't read it, rubbed off, it's the 0.035, I believe, it's a square cut. Also got the .062. I'm gonna barely, barely put any. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a little, little bit of the .062. Remember, you can always add. You can't take out. So. you put in the darker that it will get. I'm assuming it will be the same for this mold. So just put a quarter each in there. Kind of like a watermelon red flake I guess. So I think that's the perfect amount. I've already put warm oil all over the rod, so. We will get a temperature. It's 338. Zoom out a little. Shooting 
get you in holding pressure. And I'll probably hold pressure for 15 seconds. Just because that one still had a dent in it. So, that's probably about 15 seconds. Top it off. Shoot your ass back. Alright. So this shell is done with the watermelon the black flake. So I decided, I wasn't going to show you guys, but I decided might as well just in case you guys want to see. Um, so. <laughs> oh man, that looks good. I think that looks good. What do you guys think? You guys think that looks good? Maybe I'll have to get a close up when I'm done. But yeah. here's these shells, and then I'll catch you guys back when I'm ready to shoot the red. We got the red out of the microwave. Three sixty seven. Right. Hopefully, these all fill because can't see the screen, but I added point zero zero eight red flake in there. Give it a little pop since I did that to the shell. So And then we'll be back in a few minutes to open it. It's been a few minutes. Time to open this guy up. Let's see the big reveal. Hoping that these come out, or at least this one comes out good because. I will definitely be putting the first one I did on my website and hopefully I'll be putting this one on my website as well. Ooh. Man, that looks good. I don't know, maybe too much glare. I'll have to pull them off. But see here in the sprue the tiny little red flakes 0.008 got it from lure works that's where I get 90% of everything love this camera by the way hope hope you guys like it too hopefully you guys can see everything you know it's a lot different when you look at it in person compared to on a screen but Anyways, let's see. Unfortunately, I don't have enough watermelon to do another color for tonight, but getting late um, so I'll definitely be doing another video with the new molds that I unboxed in my previous video so but yeah you guys will just have to stay tuned and see alright so the ones on the left are the ones that we did first the ones on the right are the ones that we did second so let me know what you guys think. Let me know which one's your favorite one or two. So, I just had a thought. Um, 
So if I can get my channel to 50 subscribers in the next, but let's say middle of September, if I can do that, I will be saving every single bait that I make. And at the end, if I do get 50 subscribers, I will give them all away the to one person. So if you guys would like that, subscribe and like, and let me know. Let me know if you guys like the video, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'll do it. And then remember 50 subscribers. We'll do a big bait giveaway in mid-September. Mid so, all right, see you guys later. Thank you.